On today's episode of Know Your Grip, we are talking about the OG of pickleball grips, the original, the continental grip. Now, we should begin by identifying exactly how you know when you're using a continental grip. It's pretty easy. When the V of your hand, that is, the little V shape between your thumb and your index finger, is on the top bevel of the paddle, you know you're using a continental grip. This is similar to how you might hold a hammer. And if you haven't held a hammer before, just try sliding your hand down the edge of the paddle. When you get to the handle, you'll be using a continental grip. Now, why might you want to use this classic grip? Well, one of the reasons is for its versatility. You can play pretty much every shot using the continental grip. So that means that you don't need to change the paddle grip around in your hand as you're playing. You can hit serves and returns. You can hit drops and drives, volleys, dinks, lobs, even overhead smashes using the continental grip. So if you can master this one grip, you can hit pretty much every shot. The continental grip is especially useful when you want to play with backspin. Backspin is hit with an open paddle face and a high to low swing path. You'll notice that when someone uses the continental grip, the paddle face naturally opens a little bit. So this makes the continental grip a really practical grip for hitting backspinning shots. The same is true when a player is playing a dink or a drop. Both of these shots are typically hit with an open paddle face in order to get a little bit of an arc. By using a continental grip and having the paddle face open, the player is able to get that arc relatively easily. Continental grips can also be used when a player hits a two-handed backhand. Notice that the bottom hand, the dominant hand, is in the continental grip position. You can use the second hand above the dominant hand to provide more stability. One of the limitations of the continental grip is that because the paddle face tilts open rather naturally, it can be difficult to close the paddle face when you want to play a low and fast ball. The player may have to have a later impact point, which is a less stable hitting position, or they may have to turn their hand and their wrist to close the paddle face, and this can be uncomfortable. If you're someone who likes to hit with backspin, or someone who doesn't want to worry about changing grips as they play, consider learning to use the continental grip on a regular basis. And if you're looking to get a little bit of an arc with very little paddle movement, like when you're hitting a drop volley or a basic dink, the continental grip can really be your friend. 